Tonight, those tributes still pouring in as we learn more details about the gunman. Right now, Indianapolis police telling ABC 7 they just learned that Brandon Hole, who's the gunman, purchased those rifles that were used legally in the last year. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Tonight, a community coming together to grieve the loss of eight innocent lives taken during yet another mass shooting. We've lost eight of our neighbors to a senseless act of violence. Lighting candles at a vigil, one for each victim. Family members sharing these photos of their loved ones, now gone. I posted her picture everywhere because she's not going to be a statistic. She has a story. She's a person. Kamal Kohan losing her grandma, Amjuri Jahal, who worked inside of this FedEx Express hub in Indianapolis. On Thursday, police say a former FedEx worker opened fire at the facility, killing eight people and injuring several others. Kohan's aunt and uncle escaping the facility as shots were fired. There were bodies outside, and little did they know that they were actually walking past my grandmother at the time. Authorities say 19-year-old Brandon Hole, who worked at that FedEx facility last year, opened fire in the parking lot. Investigators say Hole shot and killed four people outside. Then police say he stormed the building with a rifle during a busy shift and killed four more people before taking his own life. We must support one another not just in grief, but in calling our policymakers and elected officials to make meaningful change. Right now, the sick community mourning the loss of four of their own. We don't know yet what the motive of the shooter was, and uh, but, but the FedEx facility there in Indianapolis is known to be heavily populated by sick employees. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy urging authorities to investigate whether the shooting was driven by anti-sick motivations. Family of 19-year-old Samaria Blackwell sharing these photos of the teen who had dreams of becoming a police officer. Also, Rimpy Gern's family grieving after two of their aunts were both killed. It is hard because you know that you're not going to see that person again. So difficult to hear all those stories and more coming tonight out of Indianapolis. Right now, investigators say the shooter was interviewed by FBI agents last year after his own mom contacted authorities. His family tonight released a statement saying they're devastated at the loss of life and tried to get him the help that he needed. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.